our topic is about testing hypothesis of pre-test and post-test research design using p-value. Okay, we have an example. Using pre-test and post-test results, the researcher would like to know the effect of Virto model to the calculus students' conceptual understanding. Use a 0.10 or 10% level of significance. Okay, we have a given data. N equals 10, meaning the researcher used 10 students as participants of the study. U sub D equals 16.2. D bar equals 14.3. S sub D equals 3.9 and alpha equals 0 0.10. Okay, our formula or test statistics is Z equals D bar minus U sub D over S sub D divided by square root of N where D bar is the the mean difference or mean difference of pretest and or and post test u sub d is the difference of two means or difference of pre pretest mean and the post test mean and s sub d is the standard deviation of the difference Okay, we have now the hypothesis of the study. Okay, our null hypothesis, there is no significant difference between the pre-test, post-test results on the level of the student's conceptual understanding in calculus as influenced by Werther model. Our alternative hypothesis there is a significant difference between the pre-test, post-test results on the level of the student's conceptual understanding in calculus as influenced by the word to models. Okay, we have a solution. Okay, so we substitute the, the given data to our formula. Okay, the, the D bar equals 14.3 then the u sub d equals 16.2 and s sub d equals 3.9 then then square root of 10 then 10 that is n and our z equals negative 1.54 okay we locate the uh, negative 1.54 in the normal curve okay the seeded region is the p value or or the probability value okay so our probability value is equal to negative 1.54 and that is equivalent of 0 0.0618 and 0 0 0.0618 is found in the Z table. Okay, so 0 0.0618 is less than 0 0.10, and 0 0.10 is our alpha, so meaning our probability or our P is less than alpha. So by this, we can make now our decision. So our decision, the null hypothesis is rejected. So if it is uh, rejected, uh, or since uh, we have now the decision, we have all we have also our conclusion. Okay, our conclusion: the researcher has a sufficient evidence that there is a significant difference between the pre-test and post-test results of the student's conceptual understanding in calculus as influenced by the word to model.